substitute teaching in kindergarten first grade get to school extra early get to school 10 or 15 minutes earlier than you normally would it's important that you have plenty of preparation time this age level relies on repetition and to be constantly directed you have to start off your class being directed and focused you have to know exactly what they're doing all day long every step of the way when you get into your classroom, walk around. Find out where the children sit down for reading time. Look at their desks. Look at their names. Read their names out loud. Find out where the calendar is. Do a practice run through with the calendar. Calendars are very important to these children. They love doing the calendar. You're gonna need to find out what order it goes in. You're gonna have to find out where the teacher keeps the days of the week. The weather, whether it's snowy or foggy or rainy or cold or hot. You're gonna have to find out where those stickies are so that you can put them on the calendar or have the children put them on the calendar. Do a rehearsal. Act as if your day in kindergarten and first grade is like doing a play. You wanna practice it. While you're preparing for this grade, identify where your teacher's additions are. You want to go through those books and mark with a sticky note what pages you're working from. You can't ask questions of this group like, what page did you do yesterday? Or what story did you read yesterday? They have to be directed. The only questions you can ask students through your day are very simple ones like, where does your teacher keep the crayons? or where are the rulers. Anything more complicated, you'll start to lose the students and you'll have behavior problems. As the students come in, it's likely they're gonna be coming in with a parent, grandparent, or caregiver. Say hello, you're the teacher, you're in charge. Greet the children, find out their names in a casual way. That will make life slightly easier as you start the class. It's likely in starting kindergarten first grade, you're gonna do a sentence of the day or an announcement. Be prepared, find out where you're supposed to write this and write very, very clearly. If you have sloppy handwriting, it's not gonna fly in this age group. You can't apologize for your handwriting. It has to be very, very clear. Greet the children as they come in, have them sit down, likely on their carpet squares, or they might have names on a carpet. Be prepared for lots of late students. Kindergartners, first grade, come in late. If you're a parent, you know how hard it is to get children out of the house. Be forgiving to the late children. It's okay, it's tough to be five, six, seven years old. It's, you, you can't always remember where you left your shoes. Tell the students your name, say it clearly, Say it again and again so they remember. Good morning, children. My name is Mr. Maggotson. Everyone, let's try to say Mr. Maggotson. Mr. Maggotson. You can also call me Mr. M. Everyone say Mr. M. Keep it focused. Keep it simple. I'm your substitute teacher today. Does anyone know what a substitute teacher is? Let the students get to know you. Take an extra two or three minutes as they start the day to let them get to know your personality. You want to be friendly and gentle and guided with this group. Identify who your helpers are in class. Probably 90 to 99.9% .9 of kindergarten and first grade classes have assigned workers for your class. That means there's gonna be someone that hands out the balls for recess, an office runner, a paper passer outer, someone that may take the recycling to a big recycling bin, a line leader, maybe a teacher's helper. Each of these is important. So find out who these children are and use them. There are a lot of details with this group. Be careful of misplacing your lesson plan. Be two steps ahead of everything that the students are doing. When you greet them, 
Know that the next thing you're going to do is say the Pledge of Allegiance. Know that the thing you're going to do after the Pledge of Allegiance is do the calendar. After the calendar, know that they're going to sit back down in their chairs and maybe start a social studies project. In kindergarten, they may do a dot-to-dot -dot coloring sheet. Whatever comes next, always be one or two steps ahead. When substitute teaching in kindergarten, first grade, be directed and focused. Always know what's coming next. Be aware of the rewards the teacher gives the students. Teachers will have things like colored marbles. They'll have end of the week parties. They'll have a point system. They'll have a table system. As you start your day, find out the reward system and use it. Teachers like you to use their reward system. They don't mind you giving lots and lots of points. Whatever keeps the children on task and focused, they will agree with. They are very happy to give them a little present at the end of the week if they treat you well. Again, in kindergarten, first grade, get to school early, extra early. The earlier you get there, the better your day will go. You'll be familiar and you'll have a great time. This is a wonderful age and they'll give you hugs as they leave the classroom.